This video highlights SecureCRT's SFTP tab, which provides file transfer capability when connected to an SSH2 host with the SFTP protocol. I'm running SecureCRT version 8.5.2 and I'm connected to an SSH2 server that supports SFTP. To launch an SFTP session, right-click on your connected SSH2 session tab and choose Connect SFTP Session. A new tab opens for SFTP functionality and you see the SFTP shell prompt awaiting your commands. The Help command provides a listing of available commands that can be used within the SFTP tab along with a short description of their usage. Many commands have local variants designed to perform actions specific to the local file system. As one example, while the ls command shows a file listing of the remote SFTP server's current directory, the lls command shows the file listing of the SFTP tab's current directory on the local machine. A similar pattern exists with cd and lcd, as well as pwd and lpwd, respectively operating on the remote host versus the local machine. The l preceding each command indicates that it is acting on your local system. Use the cd command to change the source or destination folder on the remote SFTP server. Use the lcd command to change the source or destination folder on the local machine. To configure the SFTP tab to always open with specific local and remote folders already set, edit your session options and here in the SFTP session category, set the initial directories to meet your needs. Then, when you open the SFTP tab, the local and remote working directories will already be set so that you won't have to manually change directories. The SFTP tab supports autocomplete by pressing the tab key. Autocomplete can help save you time and prevent typos when entering long file paths or file names. This means you can type a command followed by a partial file or folder name and hit the tab key on your keyboard to complete a singular match. If there isn't a singular completion, a list of possible completions will appear, allowing you to type in just enough more to make it a singular completion and hit the tab key once again to avoid having to type in the long file name you desire. To upload a file from your local SecureCRT machine to the SFTP server on the remote side, simply drag the file from your local machine file browser application and drop it into the terminal window area of the SFTP tab. You can see that SecureCRT automatically runs the appropriate put command at the SFTP command line to upload the file for you. If you desire to use the command line instead of drag and drop, type in the put command, manually specifying which local file or folder you desire to upload. If transferring a folder, use the minus R option so that all the files and subfolders within the specified folder get transferred recursively. To download a remote file to your local machine, use the get command at the SFTP prompt. To download a remote folder and all of its subfolders and files recursively, use the minus R option. An SFTP tab in SecureCRT can be automated with scripting as you could a terminal window, except that you would be interacting with SecureCRT only at the SFTP level, sending commands supported by the SFTP tab. An example script which automates a file transfer download can be found online in our scripting forum within the script examples Sticky. Just look for the SFTP tab automation example. That's all for this video. Here's to hoping you can enjoy the file transfer capability provided by the SFTP tab in SecureCRT. Stay secure, my friends.